I am super, super pumped with how this turned out. What are you doing? Come on, Tuck. Don't go back in the car. Baxter! Tucker, come on, buddy. Riley! Come on, buddy. Riley! Come on, buddy. Riley! Riley! Come here, buddy! So Baxter and Riley haven't seen these guys in a while. Of course they're gonna all gonna pee on everything. Come on, Tucker! He's scared. What is this? Onions and peppers? Uh, garlic is the big stuff. And then there's two jalapenos and a banana pepper. But it's already got some tomatoes ready to pick. Look a little different out here? Yeah. There was no leaves out here last time. Everything was dead. Tiny house looked bigger or smaller in person? About the same. Tucker. I, I knew it was going to be small. Tucker. What are you doing? He's very uh, submissive and he, he happy peas. There's a tree. So Jared made it as you could tell and the dogs are here and instantly Jared said get the mini bike. So we're going we're gonna to see how quick uh, he could ride it. I don't think Jared realizes how fast it's going to go. But guys, while he's over there and coming back, um, Jared's going to be up for a few days. The rain literally just stopped, as you guys saw in the video. It was good weather. It started to rain. And then look, you can see on the porch, sun starting to uh, come out. So we're going to kind of take advantage of today, probably do a little bit of fish and stuff like that tomorrow. Got the Sawyers coming out, maybe a couple other people. But right now, we're just going to have fun.
All right, so as you guys saw earlier, Jared brought some different plants. He's got, dang, Told you these pepper plants are already growing. Man, I actually, why? I bought um, a little sweet banana pepper. And you then, like those? look at these. There you go. Oh, these things produce a lot. And then jalapeno. I bought these. I didn't know he was going to bring them. And they got this other jalapeno. It's starting to flower off. So he'll have plenty of peppers and then garlic here. Yeah, so we got garlic, peppers, um, some tomatoes. His tomatoes are already growing. I bought a tomato plant because I didn't know he was going to bring all this. Got some green onions. I even got potatoes, guys. Put your garlic on this side. I got potatoes that I had a bought a while back. And... They just started uh, growing on me, uh, getting these little eyes and stuff. So I let them because I knew I'd be having a garden at some point. So I let them do that. But we're going to go ahead and plant this stuff. And then uh, luckily we don't have to, I was up in the tree. Luckily we don't have to really uh, water because of uh, the rain and stuff and it's been wet. So These should have been split up when I planted them. But Jared Crocker doesn't care. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do this real quick. So I brought up some plants from the house. Got some uh, little cherry tomatoes. I have these in buckets, so it'd be easy to move around. Uh, starting to grow some garlic. So I brought uh, an entire row of garlic for him. One big banana pepper plant, two big jalapeno pepper plants. And then Jason picked up some uh, green onions, some cilantro, a little tomato plant. And this one's also a jalapeno, small banana pepper. So we're gonna be eating really, really good in the morning, I tell you that. So I'm pretty excited to uh have this little raised bed going. And of course, right now, there's not a whole lot of sunlight on it. As soon as it gets just a little bit longer um, or into the day, it's gonna move over. It's gonna get plenty of sun without burning it up because Jared has issues in Texas burning it up. He's already That's eaten cool. a tomato here. Nothing beats a fresh tomato. I'm not a big uh, tomato fan, but it's good. When you mix it up with uh maybe make some salsa or even just in your breakfast and stuff so i'm totally cool with that and then these potatoes that i have we're going to get some buckets we're going to do that I'll but line them up back there yeah line them up back there but this is perfect for what i need i don't need anything bigger than this this is what i can handle it's not a whole lot and uh it's perfect for what i need plus we got uh, the rabbit manure all on there i think it's gonna grow really well so maybe i should have washed my hands first before i just ate a tomato yep so that's how we do it out here all right, so while the weather's good, we're gonna take full advantage of this, and we are down here at the uh, little pond. We're gonna try to catch some fish, hopefully do a little fish fry later if we catch some bass and stuff. And we brought, uh, brought Riley. Come here, buddy. Riley, Riley. come on. Come here, we brought him with us because uh, he likes to escape, but all the other dogs are doing really good in the fence. And uh, so, yeah, we're gonna try to catch some. I don't know if that's a turtle or a snake. I think it's a snake. See yeah, it? that's a snake. I'm not having anything to do with that. I wonder what kind that is. It's an anaconda. So we're gonna try to uh, catch some stuff and then uh, just enjoy this weather while we have it because it's supposed to rain this weekend. And then, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of uh, building done. So hopefully we'll catch some fish. Got the first catch of the day. 
little uh, perch, good for a pan frying, I guess. So, may keep them if we can uh, catch a couple of them. Not bad, better than nothing. Well, as you guys saw in the video, there were snakes all around there. This one came up to me. I thought it was a copperhead at first, so I killed it, but I think it's just like a little rat snake. So, fortunately, killed it, but uh, glad it wasn't a copperhead because that would have been scary. He was doing clickbait. He's yeah, the clickbait yeah. king. Yeah, I think he's going to be perfect. Okay. I think he's going to fit right in with. Can you block and delete people in real life? It's going to fit right in with. If you could, I already would have you. <laughs> you can see here right now. <laughs> Feel like I'm working highway work. What person watching. working? Everyone else watching. <laughs> My friendship. That ain't payment enough. Oh yeah, like a glove. Oh, like a glove. Like a surgical man. glove. Go. I didn't, right I didn't roast you. He didn't roast me, he picks up a camera. <laughs> Y'all should learn a thing or two. That's right, <laughs> that's right. Jared roasts stuff all the time. The hey, food, I, gotta go. the, I have a new smoker now. The food it's called food. burning, he, yeah. burn, he, he does burns. Kevin will do a video about building a house, how to cook it off, how to cook <laughs> the off smoker and what's popping. <laughs> I'm glad Kevin didn't come out. You can just talk trash this whole time about it. That's right. It. 
I'm recording though, so you can just leave this part in. <laughs> oh, it's going in. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it where it starts right here in the bottom and then it'll come up and then we'll cut that angle. Go up about 13 on the side. It's like you can't even mark it. <clears throat> You need a marker? You got a marker? Yeah. Marker the marker. Pull it out of his pocket. I yeah. Wait <laughs> yeah. Just take it with you. Do you have a whole toolbox of markers? Or? <laughs> what color do you need? It's a crown. I got fifty seven yeah, I got fifty seven <laughs> different colors. <laughs> You're welcome. Crashes. Hey, when are they opening up the casino over here? Have you ate that buffet yet? I've been wanting we to. Have, we've been wanting to. Like, literally but they shut it down as soon as we were going to yeah, do it. We were going to go, and like the next week they shut it down. I heard uh, on the radio on the way up here, there was said something about June 1st, I think, is when they said something about opening casinos. Yeah, yeah. June 1st. Is not so so I think said. like Wolf oh, Creek really? or something yeah. was already... So, Kevin, I was actually in Silent Springs right before all this stuff went down. Or actually, right when they started talking about it. And Kevin, I guess that's when he first traded his truck in. And he got it from out there. And he hit me up. He's like, hey, you out in Sound Springs? I was like, actually, yeah. And uh, he's like, let's go uh, eat. So we went to the buffet. And at that time, they were serving you. They wouldn't even let you go oh, get it no. yourself. And it was limited of everything. And I was they like. They bring me one of everything then. Yeah, but it was like, why are you still charging me the same amount? Yeah. It's limited. But That was my first time eating frog legs. Did you yeah. like them? Yeah. Dude, that was my awesome. first time eating oysters. I too. love them. <laughs> Jacob, you don't even cut them off, you just eat them right there. <laughs> yeah, just one, one bite. Side you want. I think that side goes here. And you have what you want, you want this dip. Oh, yeah, so, uh. That's a pretty good sized piece. It's done. Oh, dang, it doesn't go all the way, though. Oh, I thought it was going to go all the way. I was hoping it would. You would have to measure out. Not, most of them are not really 10 feet. They'd be better than that one. I think it like a shell. Is this going to look like what? It's going to look like what? Oh. oh, that was way better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that one was going all the way. Yeah. Because that's enough to do the trim. That's what you need foot. right there. Yeah. That one's it's 10 like, foot? It's right at... Let's scrape this bark off. These other ones you use on the, well, on the front or something. Or whatever well, we can cut them and put them on the... Yeah. You go over to his house and you just got 10, 12 footers that are already cut. Yeah, yeah all perfect. perfect. And these are all the extras. He's that making raised garden beds out of them. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, as you can tell, we got old Dutch here. And then we got Sawyer Rich Farm. And then we got old Jared Crocker. He's still here. But we put up the uh, mesh up on the house. Still and we got the uh, uh, cedar going on over here. They've been uh, awesome scraping this stuff off. Easier or harder than you expected? Uh... It's pretty easy to me. Yeah, it looks easy to me. Look at how it's, easy it's it is. It's a little hard. Yeah. Now, getting a scrape knife, whenever those come in, that'll yeah. be a lot easier. But it's uh, we haven't had a problem. Oh, it's pretty easy. Yeah, doing it at all. They're, <laughs> they've been doing it pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and scrape these, and then we're going to start putting them up on the house, and hopefully it'll look like a little baking cabin going on here. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, so we're going to take a little break, and Jacob's been wanting to ride this little mini bike. So we're going to let him get on it real quick and uh, see if he wrecks. Pull the string once it starts and you put this back forward. Can I try to get level or you just tell me where oh there's a hole oh, if your side comes up just a hair to give it a little gap yeah yeah right there and then 
That's the nice about the hair. Yeah, Jacob, just a hair. Whoop. Down. I know it's good. Let me, uh... Screw it. Literally. Yeah, screw Throw it. in there. Let's go. <laughs> Let me kind of halfway measure. Seven and a half. Of course, it's like... I mean, it's pretty it close. This is going to be the fun part. <laughs> Doing that. Like those four boards I put up here look great. Well, it's starting to look like bacon. You said you wanted bacon. There you go. You got it. How much, uh, is it you go that way? Because it's almost on the edge here. I'm probably three inches. Because this is about two inches from the edge. Try some of that water. water. It's better than like bottled water where you can taste like the chemicals. This is the windows. Yeah, I know. I was trying to find. I was like, Wait, you have the wrong piece. But it goes the other way. What's up, Rara? Yeah, he took off run, and we were gone. We went into town to. We were trying to get Jared official license and stuff. Went in just to Kansas, came back, and he was running away down the way. Yeah. Personal preference, do you think it should just come up just a hair? I think it should. As high as we can. I would say, yeah. Hey, I, I looks, think with a lot of it, you want... You like want chinking in. Chinking in, in everything. You don't want yeah, like, I like it. Even though it doesn't need a gap, I like just a little bit. I think it yeah, looks better. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to... you do, yeah. I think it's so fast. It, I did not, when I bought it. Like okay. a kid will kill themselves. Yeah. Not much of a station behind you. Yeah.
a lot of uh, stuff to fill in some of the gaps. I mean, you just get yourself a little thing and you just yeah. slap a big. Kind of like grout. Yeah. Follow my thing. That's how you keep a marriage together. Jesus. All right, guys, so we just finished for the day on um, this. We got all the way to the pink or whatever you want to call it, the triangle. That's what I'm going to call it. But as you can tell, the little baconator is coming together, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Got her all the way up. What are y'all thinking? It's, really it's coming good. together for sure. Jared, I've seen better. Uh, I figured. <laughs> it looks good, though. I like it. So for the viewers at home, can you explain kind of, because this was kind of your vision and a little bit, yeah. mine. It was we yours kinda, and mine, and then we kind of mixed the two and yeah. figured it out. So why are there gaps? So the reason why there's gaps is because that's where chinking is going. If you don't know what chinking is, on a log cabin, it goes in between. It's usually, back in the day, was mud or something of that nature. But that's what's going to go in between uh, the grooves right there. And then on the back side, there's that diamond plated stuff. So that's going to hold it in that's the best stuff to use uh, behind there so Jason did good on that piece right there y'all guys heard that and if we don't hear it often <laughs> but Jacob pretty much said earlier I had a great idea so you got to check out their yeah. channel she got it she caught it I'm so glad she caught it on there but uh Jared you showed I don't know what he was doing back here but I just caught him in the act trying to do something I'm not doing anything I'm being a good boy on this channel oh <laughs> but uh hey He's filmed some of this stuff out here. They filmed some of the stuff, and we all kind of try to get different perspectives. And uh, some people were asking what hotel I stayed at last night, and we didn't stay at a hotel. Hotel, uh, hotel tent on the deck, and um, we stayed there. But <laughs> not all four of us. Just <laughs> yeah, all four of us. Um, no, me, tight. Jared, and I did. But um, I think it's coming together. And then Jared brought up a little surprise. Got a Texas flag up there. It might wave in a little bit. You ain't into that? No. Why? It's he's Texas. A, he's the second best state in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you were your own country at one time? Well, we actually were. We are actually a territory. Oh, you got serious real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting all that. I guess I didn't pay attention <laughs> in history class. But, uh, yeah, we did a good job. Dutch was out here for a little bit. Um, I think he had to go home and he had he had the bubble guts or something, so I think he had to go home. I think he actually got nervous. He didn't want to climb a ladder. Yeah, especially the ladders that you have out here. Yeah, that was Dutch's was ladder. Say, his ladders. Ooh, okay, I can see That's that. That's why he's out. He's like, I ain't using it. But yeah, we did a pretty good job today doing this. Uh, I know some of y'all are going to say, man, y'all could have done a lot more, but just cutting the wire, putting it up, debarking, you saw yeah. that. Look at this over here. Piles of Just piles of bark all over the place. So hey, we also worked on your uh, all done with our bare too. hands. Yeah, y'all outdid y'all selves. Nice. Yeah, and Jerry, what? So we also worked on his goat and chicken pen over there. So this wasn't the only project we had today. 
yeah so i'll show you all that in uh another section of this video but um yeah i'm pretty excited i think we're gonna go we rode the mini bike we did we, we actually <laughs> made we actually made a ramp and we ramped it but that's going to be on their channels and then jared destroyed the mini bike you'll have to just check that out i don't know if we caught it on film but you have to go check it out so guys if you have not subscribed to soy ridge farm or jared crocker that's my twin brother if you didn't get that yet we have different moms different moms but um no brothers <laughs> You oh, yeah. made Jason speechless for once. <laughs> Guys, guy. that's how you make Jason stop talking. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and call a day on building, and then we're going to go down to the lake. I mean, not the lake, the river. Yep. You you have not been down there? Mm -hmm. Have you been down over here? Mm, not to this part. Not no. to this particular part. Have bar. you even? Yeah. We were Remember we were skipping rocks across it whenever it came down last time? Oh, yeah. And none of us got it across the... River. Whenever old Good Grub. Uh, Good Grub might come out here, I'm not sure. So we're going to go ahead and go down to the river. But guys, if you haven't checked them out, go subscribe. Uh, we, like I said earlier, we try to film different things so it's not just the same video over and over. You get little things here and there. But guys, who's jumping in the water? I will. Jacob. I will. Jared. I gotta take my leg off though. Ooh. Ooh. All right, guys, we're gonna whoa, go down whoa, the river. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Did I just catch something? Do not subscribe to their channels. They do not like <laughs> handicapped people. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys. So it's the next morning. And uh, we're gonna start working on the cedar. The Sawyer's left and Dutch left. And unfortunately, Dutch was only able to stay out for a little while. Uh, we're very fortunate he was able to even come out in the first place. We didn't think he was gonna be able to. And then uh, we invited Kevin out from Midnight's Farm, but he already had some uh, family things to do. So uh, we'll get uh, him out here at another time. But the Ooh, Sawyer's- Kevin! Uh, he didn't make it. That's Jared in there if you can't see him. But uh, uh, the Sawyer's be coming out a lot more and stuff. But guys, it's very, very tedious work putting the mesh on and uh, having to cut it. We had to use a grinder to cut it because I don't have big clips, um, metal clips. Yeah, scraping the bark off this. Uh, it's a lot of work. I mean, just getting all the measurements as close as we possibly can. You're not using any straight line, so you're doing everything basically just looking at it and trying to figure it out. So it's difficult, but it's gonna be awesome. If you can really, really envision the chinking between each one, I think it's gonna look cool. And then after a few days, all the cedar will kind of get the color that it's gonna get. And then uh, I have to start going in and sealing it and let it shrink as much as it'll shrink before we put chinking in. But we're gonna go ahead and try to finish the top of this today. And then uh, we've been working on a chicken coop area. We'll show you that a little bit later. It's been a lot of work. It's just tedious, tedious work. Hey, what are you barking at?
All right, guys, as you can see, we finished the whole wall. I'll show you more of that later. But uh, Jared, he's filming the uh, time lapse of this build. We're gonna go ahead and knock out the deck right here in the front because I gotta get post up and uh, build this roof part up here. So we're gonna go and build this. I'm gonna show some of it, but uh, the entire time lapse of most everything we've done, he's done a time lapse. So let's go ahead and get on it. We got a lot of work to do.
I did, but again, I'll do it before I do it again. Do you have a
All right guys, so pretty worn out. We did a lot of work. We uh, finished this deck area all the way to the front. Of course, it's gonna extend out further. We did the cedar all the way up to the top. We got the first cedar post in all the way. And uh, we were gonna do some more, but we're pretty freaking tired. And we- Logs are way too heavy. Yeah, so we tried to lift those logs, are heavy. It took Jacob, Alex, and I to get them in the truck. So I'm probably gonna get them to come back out here one of these days and uh, we'll put the rest of the poles up. But it gives you a really, really good idea of what it's gonna look like. And then down here where it's kind of notched out, you're not gonna see that. It's gonna be kind of uh, bordered off and stuff. But the bark is coming off. I'm sure some of you have already commented before even uh, finishing this video, but we are not gonna keep the bark on here. The reason we just went ahead and put it on is because we feel like it's gonna be easier. I bought those, uh, I don't even know what you call them, uh, the things that you scrape bark with, a draw knife or something, I don't remember what they're called. But we're gonna get those and I figured if it's already solid and up there, you can kind of do it. And uh, I kind of talked to Jacob about that and he felt the same way. So we put that up, but we got the uh, whole deck up and all that. I think it's looking pretty cool. But we gotta clean up this area a little bit and all that, but. I think we got a lot done for the weekend and again jared on his channel he did a lot of the time lapse I'm more sleepy <laughs> more of that stuff so we're going to, go ahead and clean up and then i'll show you uh after we clean up kind of what it looks like rundown and all that stuff but for now i'm very very excited with this all right so we're over here at the uh goat thing and you guys know i did my little hot tub there i need to uh, change the water out but over here we started building this chicken coop and it's a little bit of a mess. We're not finished with it, unfortunately. But as you guys could tell, we had the metal keep running around and it's all, uh, you know, bordered off like the other one. It still needs to be stained. But we got the metal roof on here all the way and got this chicken wire. I've never seen chicken wire with gaps this big. Uh, I got it from Jacob and Alex and Jacob was even like, dang, y'all stretched the crap out of the, the uh, wire nope it's just how it is but we have the uh, plywood and stuff over here we still need to build the door we got the hinges i just don't know if we have the energy for it we may do it before jared leaves but we may not but that's kind of that um jared's definitely has a lot of almost the entire build i think all of it what this yeah yeah so not the entire build of this part, no but the the, the coop part so if you guys want to check that out, like I've been saying, he's doing a lot of time lapse. It's going to be all in one video yeah, the entire trip. He's pretty much going to do an entire video of the trip. I'm doing an entire video of the whole weekend. And so you'll see, uh, mine will be more of uh, not so much time lapse, just bits, pieces of everything. His will be time lapse, basically showing all of it. So I think it's turning out pretty good so far. Again, just need to build a door, finish this front part right here. And this chicken coop will be good. And how many, three or four goats I'm going to bring up. Possibly. And then a dozen chickens, a dozen chickens, and a bunch of roosters that uh maybe some chicks. They won't be going in the uh, freezer camp because I don't have a freezer, so I'll just kind of call them off as I uh, want to eat them. And then he's got chicks and stuff, so a little bit of a mess over here too. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything up, and then I'm gonna show you the tiny house more cleaned up and a little more in depth of what we did. All right, so we got it cleaned up, and uh, as you can tell, we did a lot of cutting. The cedar's real purple. The deck looks a lot nicer and bigger when there's nothing on it. And got this one post in. We probably still need to mess with it a little bit. We were gonna start on the back one, but those posts are just too heavy. But- Added in that whole section. Yeah, we added this whole section in. And then I'll kind of show you a little bit closer here on the, uh, the house. But you can kind of tell where all the gaps are. There's wire behind it. And uh, we're gonna put chinking in there. So it's gonna be pretty awesome been a busy weekend definitely put in a lot of work got a lot of uh, stuff accomplished out here as, as you just showed you we did the whole deck put up all this uh cedar on the siding put in a post chicken coop goat pen cleared up some brush 
did all sorts of stuff, cooked and cleaned. How do they check out your channel? You go to the YouTube. <laughs> so if you want to check out the entire build of what we did this weekend, just go over to my channel, Jared Crocker. I'm doing a time lapse, a little uh, talking in between, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. You'll be able to see a lot of progress done in a short amount of time. And if you're uh, brand new to this channel and don't know who I am, I'm Jason's twin brother. I live down in the Dallas, Texas area. I have a two acre little homestead. So I do gardening, have goats, chickens, dogs, ducks. I don't know what else I have. I have a lot of animals and I like to barbecue, hunt, fish, and everything in between. So guys, feel free to go check out his channel. I think you, how many subscribers you just hit? He was trying to get 15,000. Yeah. And now he has like 17,000. It's like 17,000, six something. So he's been going. So the next goal is 20,000. So if we can help him get to 20,000, he wish. might grow his leg back. If you guys get me to 20,000, I will cut my other leg off. There you go. You heard it here first. So uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy the rest of this. Jared, uh, we got some steaks and corn stuff. We're going to um, cook that up, but that'll be on Jared's channel. He's got a lot of the cooking stuff on there too. And so uh, Jared's also the grill master, if you didn't know. So I'm kind of testing his skills out here. Jacob and Alex from Sawyer Ridge came out and that was awesome. That was a blast. That was Jared's first time eating them. And uh, I think that was pretty good. Um, it went so well, they invited us to come out again before Jared goes back. But I don't know if we'll have time. And then um, old Dutch came out for a little bit. That's uh, Jared's buddy. He showed up for about an hour just to show his face. He didn't do much work, but uh, he was here. There you go. Uh, you heard it here first again. <laughs> That's from Jared, not me, Dutch. So um, please still be my friend. But uh, no, uh, Dutch didn't have that much time. Uh, we were very grateful he got to come out and just hang out I'm for a little bit. It was a good surprise. Yeah, and he helped out uh, quite a bit. And he even jumped in and helped me uh, do some camera work. So that's a big help, as you guys know, having to do it by myself all the time. So Dutch is a seasoned professional. He just grabbed the camera and went with it. So all this stuff was done. And I think it just proves, even with a lot of people, it's still hard work. And that's why it's been going pretty slow. I don't think people understand how much work this is. There's no way he could have put this post in by himself. This deck and stuff, it was hard with two people doing it. So all you guys out there busting his, his, uh, his huevos about uh, getting everything done so slow, it's very hard to do, so uh, if you want to come out and try to help out, I'm sure Jason would love to have you guys out here. Each and every one of you guys come out here. <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> it is one of those things it's that hard. it's hard work. Even with, there was five of us out here, and this is the progress we got. It was a lot. Don't get me wrong. It was a whole lot, but a lot of you probably thinking we were going to finish the thing, and we were trying to get the metal roof on. Unfortunately, didn't get the metal in in time, but uh, that'll be another project for another day. But guys, if you made it this far, I know this is a long video. Hope you guys like the progress and all that stuff. Uh, Jared's gonna leave tomorrow around noon, so we might do something in the morning. Not 100% sure. If we do, we'll make a video of that. But guys, thanks so much. Ugh. But guys, thanks so much for uh, checking this video out. Hope you like the progress. Hope you go check out their channels. I'll leave links to all their channels down in the description. And if you went to my parents, Cro well, our parents, yeah, it's my parents too. Crockers Simply Southern, and you were one of the winners of the 5K giveaway. Congratulations. Congratulations. That was a lot of money. But um, I don't remember all the names. There are several people that donated money. We're going to give a shout out to you guys. Uh, I'll do that in the next video when I can like sit down and remember all the names. But guys, thanks so much for all the support for our entire family. Even Matt's channel is still growing. He posts every now and again. But uh, yeah, long day. I'm tired. Long weekend. And so uh, we went down the river yesterday. Today we might. I don't know. I'm ready to kick back and cook and relax. Yeah, so guys, see you all later on Coffee the Crockers tomorrow morning. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I am super, super pumped with how this turned out. Thank you.